to be glorified. He came to tell him to be magnified. He came to tell him to be exalted in our midst this morning in the name of Jesus. The word of God says we have two or three people are gathered in my name. And there I am in the midst of them. I, I believe this morning that our garden is more than, uh, than two. Our garden is more than three. Uh, we praise the name of the Lord for this because he is here with us. So we begin to honor him. We begin to ask him to take all the glory this morning. Ask him to take all the glory. Ask him to take all the glory. Talk to him. Talk to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this morning. This is Free Clinic. We've come with our faith this morning. We've come into the presence of the King. We've come into the presence of the Almighty, the All-Powerful. The one who can do all things, the one to whom nothing is impossible. We have come to him. We have not come before any man today. It is not because the pastor have invited you to this forum today that you are here. You are here because you are expectant of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So tell him to take all the glory. Tell him to take all the glory. Tell him to take all the glory. Tell him to honor himself today. Tell him to honor himself today. Release the Holy Ghost now and forever. Now forever more glory. Father, take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. Father in heaven, King of kings and the Lord of lords, Lion of the tribe of Judah, the all-powerful, the all-glorious one, ancient of this. We worship you, Daddy. We adore you. We give you all the glory again today. What a great God you are. What a wonderful Father you are. Eternal Rock of Ages, you proved yourself mighty in our midst last night. And yet again, Lord Almighty, because, Lord, your steadfast love, Father, you never... Uh, oh, oh, they are there for us all the time and renewable every day. Father, I love you, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. What a great privilege to be called your children. What a great privilege to have the opportunity to, to, to go before your throne of grace at any time that we want to. Father, in heaven, we are grateful for this. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for what Jesus came to do. Because it was because of his coming that we are able, without needing anybody's permission, without needing anybody's consent, without needing any pastor to lead us into your presence, we are able, Lord, to go before your foot of grace by ourselves. We are grateful for this. Father, in never King of Kings, Lord of Lords, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, that is why we are here again today, Lord Almighty with a heart of expectation king of kings and the lord of lords please lord almighty meet us each and every one of us at our point of needs in the name of jesus father lord god let us have an encounter with you an encounter with the holy spirit today in the name of jesus father lord god king of kings and the lord of lords your promise is that you are giving someone a new beginning father in heaven as many as desire a new beginning father lord god king of kings and the lord of lords begin lord Lord Almighty to attend to that situation that needs a new beginning in their lives in the name of Jesus. New beginning of joy, new beginning of happiness. Father, Lord God, new beginning of elevation in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, every of these your children, let it be well with them in Jesus' name. Father, by the time they leave this place this morning, they leave this forum this month. Father, let them have a conviction in their heart, Father, that Lord, you have answered their prayers, that Lord, you have done something great for them, that Lord Almighty, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, that you have moved that mountain for them, that you have exalted that valley for them in the name of Jesus. Let it be well with them. Thank you, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Blessed be your wonderful name, Father. For in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. Amen. praise the name of the lord hallelujah hallelujah i don't know if uh, if samuel is online this morning praise the name of the lord if not then i'm going to need some help to you know, reading the bible and need somebody to read isaiah chapter 43 praise the name of the lord hallelujah. Okay. 
I'm reading from the NIV version. It says, But forget all that is, but forget all that it is nothing compared to what I am going to do. He says, Do not remember the former things. I said, Forget. Read that again, please. But forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I am going to do. It is nothing compared to what I am, what going, I am to going to do. do. Whatever you have experienced before is nothing compared to what the Lord. You know, one day I sat down and I was thinking about myself. Uh, to myself, when he said, said uh, when he said, uh, 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 my, my my plan for you is of good and not of evil. You to take you to an expectation. It is not even really our own expectation. It is the expectation of God. Amen. And then there was also the, the time I saw that I was thinking, say, eyes have not seen, ears have not had. So that means, <laughs> oh, oh, give, give me the richest man or the greatest person in the world. Eyes have had of that person's experience. Ears have seen that person's uh, wealth. He is promising us as a student that I, so that means new things, new beginnings for us. Amen. That will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I want you, like I always advise when we come to, to Faith Clinic, we are going to study our Bible, uh, uh, our, 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 our Bible text this morning. I want you, please, Lord, uh, uh, don't look at the pastor. Don't, don't say this pastor is not even eloquent. He does not know his Bible. He cannot quote his Bible of it. Don't look at the small boy in front of you. It's your faith. If there is nothing any pastor can do, if your faith is not strong enough, if, if you cannot express your faith, if you cannot express your faith, you are wasting your time on this forum this morning. Just turn off that phone. If it is your phone, turn it off. If you are watching to your TV, turn it off. Whatever device you are using, turn it off. If you cannot express your faith. Your faith is going to make you whole. Without faith, no man can see God. It is by your faith. Please understand this. Understand this. Understand this. When I say it is going to be well with you, it is by your faith that is going to be well with you. Amen. When I say you are going to experience a new beginning, it is by your faith. You must believe it. You must run with it. That is going to be well with you. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So do not remember the former things. Okay, verse 19. No, verse 18, we have not even finished it. But forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I am going to do. Don't, don't consider the things of old. Do not consider the things of old. He has done it for you in the past. Uh, uh, he has done some great things. Uh, like I was saying last night, you know, there some people are so comfortable that they actually think they don't need anything. But if they are part of this, if they are part of this new beginning that the Lord himself has declared, if they are part of it, he said he is going to do, give them a new beginning. Bible says of the man Isaac, became great he became very great he became ex so there are levels exceedingly great there are levels of greatness you might be great today god is saying it's going to make you very great amen. you might be very great today he says he's going to make you exceedingly great amen praise the name of the lord for this amen. don't consider the 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 the, the, the things of old 19. For I am about to do something new. I am about to do something new. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not had it. It has not been committed. It has not been laid in the heart of any man that the Lord is taking you. Amen. Only Amen. one person will understand that. Mm. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. Amen. 
I will do a little thing. Oh. See, I have already begun. It shall spring forth. It will be suddenly. People who have seen you, people who have looked at you, people who saw you yesterday, when they see you today, it, uh, the transformation is going to be because it has been, it, it has, it has been begun again already. Amen. It's going to spring forth. Springing for me, it's going to come suddenly upon you. It's not something that you are, you are going to plan for the next ten years. Uh, lay the foundation for five years and then start the building in in another five years because you are trying to collect money. It's going to spring forth. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Go on. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? Shall you not know it? Go on. I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will make a pathway through, through the wilderness. And that's why I'm asking you to please come with your feet. A pathway through the wilderness. The wilderness is a place where uh, uh, it's just a plain wilderness, sand everywhere. It's not like there is a road that you follow that leads you to anywhere. But today he's saying he's going to make that road for you. He's going to give Amen. you that pathway in the wilderness. Amen. Amen. No matter what type of wilderness you are in this morning, we are, we are, whatever experience you are, you are having today, consider that as the wilderness. And the Lord himself is promising that he's going to create a path for Amen. you. You are getting Amen. out of there. And when you get out of there, you are emerging victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on. I will create rivers in the dry he wasteland. He will create the rivers in the desert, in the dry wasteland. And there will no, no expectation. He will create rivers in the dry wasteland. God himself will surprise somebody today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You can talk about a new beginning. If there was already a point of reference for a previous beginning, mm. that is the only time you can talk about the new beginning. You must have there must have been a reference point before. You are coming from point A to point B, and then you go to get to point B, and you look back, and uh, this is not where I am supposed to be. This is not where the, uh, with what the promises of God in my life uh, uh, said it's going to be like. And then you desire a new beginning. So there must be a reference point for a previous beginning. And every point of changes in the life of a man, every point of changes in the life of a man is a new beginning. Then you buy a new house, that's a new beginning. A young man that just got married, or a young woman that just got married, that is a new beginning. Every time a man changes level, is a new beginning. After today, levels will change in Jesus' name for somebody. Amen. If you have been crawling before, if all you have been doing is to crawl before you begin to fly in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise, Amen. The Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray for as many as are trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb today. Because that's a new beginning for a woman who has no child. Yeah. A new beginning is when you have children running around in the house. A new beginning is when you have children writing things on the wall in the house. A new beginning is when 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 and they are breaking things in the house. Breaking your chairs. I pray for somebody this morning that God is taking you to the new next level in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pray that God himself will, will grant you your heart desire in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb, I want you to believe that there is nothing too hard for my God to do. There is nothing too difficult for him. I have experienced him. I know him first hand. It's a first hand. It's not, you know, there are stories that people can tell you, you know, because they had you that, the, 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 uh, oh, the Lord did it for this person. Uh, I'm telling you, my story is a first hand experience of what the Lord can do. He told me I cannot have a child. The doctor said it. I saw the results myself. And there's no way you can have a child. There's no, no, nothing. That any, you know, some they will say use some medication so that, or they will say, okay, it's going to be surgery 
or something. They told me that you cannot have a child. There's nothing that anybody can do. And the Lord gave me a new beginning. The Lord himself stepped into my affair. And I think God is still on the throne. That thing God still rules in the affairs of men. That thing God, his power has not diminished. That thing God is still the King of Kings. That thing God is still the Lord of Lords. That thing God is still the I am that I am. That thing God is still the Lion of the tribe of Judah. That thing God is still the King of Zion. That thing God is a massive. God and is going to have mercy on someone Amen. today in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Your, 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 your time of your time of 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 warfare, your time of warfare is over in Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A new beginning is very sad when a man starts a journey, and along the way something happens. Mm that wipe off all the progress such that starting afresh is the only option. If a man desires a new beginning, then you're, you're traveling, you're going on a journey, you're going somewhere, and then you look back, like I've said before, and you, this is not where, his promises for me is not where this road is leading me. And the only option is for a new beginning. I pray for somebody who have such an experience today that God himself will lead you. God himself will begin afresh with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's quickly read about the man in Job 42. That man got to a situation that <laughs> the, only, the only thing that could happen to him is a reset button. It's, it is a good example of somebody that got started afresh mm. with we all know that the, the, the whole of the book of Job is a story about this man. He was a, a rich man, a great man, and loved the Lord. But things just started going wrong for him because of what we all know about. And the devil said, it's because you are protecting this man. Let me just touch him and let's see if he's going to just keep loving you. Let's see that if he's just going to stay. I want to. I want to tell somebody this morning. God sees all your labor. Mm. Things might not be where you are supposed to be today. <laughs> you know you love the Lord. You know you serve the Lord. You know your trust is in Him. But things are still not where. Uh, and you are not where you are supposed to be. Mm. Things are still not what is supposed to be for you. I pray for you that today. The Lord that restored Job will restore you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord Amen. that lifted up Job up from a, a depressing state, from a place of total hopelessness. Amen. The, the Lord that gave him will give you hope. Amen. In the name of God. Let's really look at what God did for Job. Well, the, the last chapter, 42, verse 10. Job chapter 42, and then somebody to, to give, okay, thank God for Samuel, Samuel is on now, Job, Job, I didn't say Isaiah, I said Job, you gave me Isaiah, you are still sleeping, Samuel, Job, not Isaiah, Job, yes, thank you, and the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends, indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. A new beginning means losses are restored. Amen. So another word for a new beginning to me is restoration. God is restoring somebody today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the good thing that I'm God restoring someone is that look at that last part of that Job 42 verse 10. He says, indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. God did not just restore him and bring him back out to the point A, where his problem started. God took him to where he was supposed to be, and God now multiplied, as God is going to multiply somebody's blessing to him. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Restoration by God. From, from that last part of Job chapter 10, restoration. From God is totally different from restoration by man. A man cannot re restore you to a position above himself. 
a man's restoration capability is limited by his capacity. Mm. A man's restoration capability is restricted by his capacity. I cannot lift a man higher than if I'm, if I'm going to lift up uh, my daughter already now. Uh, I'm probably not, I cannot lift her up higher than my own uh, height. If she's going to lift me up now, because she's, uh, she's taller than I am, she can lift me up higher than where I am right now. I can lift her up more higher than where she is right now. If I'm going to pick her up, I'm talking about physically picking somebody up. And even when it comes to promotion, the best I can do for anyone, uh, 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 let's give the example of the church, the best I can do for anyone is to make that person an assistant pastor. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. But the Lord can lift up a man. There is no restriction. Mm. Because he is capable of everything. Oh, there is yeah. nothing too hard. There is nothing too difficult for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords to do. Mm -hmm. Don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you need a new beginning for. Mm. I pray for you this morning. The Lord that restored Job. Not only restored Job. Doubled his blessing. That mm. Lord will double your blessing today. Amen. In the of Jesus. Nothing limits God's capacity to restore. He is higher than the highest. And is greater Amen. than the greatest. Amen. When God restores a man, he not only brings you back to your rightful position, but he also had interest. And when, when, when I was praying about this last night, he says, uh, uh, you know, the only thing is I was just too too tired to go back again. But he says, then Allah is here. I know she's an accountant or, or, or that the baby, if they are uh, listening this morning, they, they, maybe they still understand compound interest. We did compound interest in those days in maths. And uh, let, let me tell you the truth, I never understood it. Why are you compiling an uh, interest? If it is 10%, just make it 10% and let me go away. Mm, mm, mm. You see, compound interest. And that is what the Lord is promising somebody to Amen. do. Amen! When he restores you, he will compound the interest. Ah, Once you have lost before, then he gives it to you. He will now calculate the interest. He will, he's not going to just now go to all that interest. To what is giving you is going to compound it. Amen. And this is promise for somebody today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So when God restores a man, he not only brings you back to your rightful position, he also had interest. Let's look at Job 42, verse 12. Verse 12. Now the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning, for he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 female donkeys. God blessed his latter days more than his beginning. God did not just take him to where he was when he started losing everything. The Bible says God blessed him more than his beginning. The Lord himself will bless somebody more than that person's beginning today. Amen. In the name of God. And if you are that person, I want you to shout hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now you might be saying this morning, but, 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 but pastor, you don't understand my problem. My problem is just beyond what, I, what anyone can do. I am not saying anyone will help you today. I am saying the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is the one who is going to help you. I am saying is the I am that I am the creator of the heaven and the earth that is going to help you. I am saying the all powerful himself, the one who has never lost any battle, is the one that is going to help you. And he has done it before. He has done it before. Yes. I am going to tell you about a man in the Bible. The man's story is in Daniel chapter 4, verse 36. I consider this man even to be greater uh, than, than Job in wealth. He was a king. I don't think there was anywhere in the book of Job that the Bible said uh, Job was a king. The man, in this man in the Bible was a king. The man was so big, he was so, he was so, he was so majestic. 
I don't know what other language to use this morning to describe it. Such that the Bible says he looked around the walk about in his palace one day. After the Lord had warned him, actually, God had warned him. And that is why I pray for somebody. Maybe your situation is caused by you yourself. Maybe that that you are experiencing today, that you yourself you caused today. And that is what you are experiencing today is by what you yourself you have put your hands into. I am praying for you that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords Himself is going to restore you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord gave this king, King Nebuchadnezzar. I'm sure by now, because I've said that in chapter 4, someone must have guessed where I was going. God gave that man a dream of what he was going to do for him if he doesn't change his way. And one day, the man, the, the Bible says that the man woke up in his palace. He must have put on his best attire that day. You know how some of us, when we put on our best attire, we, we stand in the front of the mirror and we look at ourselves. I'm so handsome. I'm so great. We are my mere dust. We are mere dust. That is not where I'm going today. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Oh, the man woke up that day and looked around and felt good about himself. Felt good. He woke up in the middle of the bed. Well, you know when they say a man wakes up uh, by the side of the bed, he must have had a bad night. But he must have had a very good night. Bible says he looked around and he started to define himself in his mind. And what a great Babylon that I have built by my own power. And I have built by my own strength. Says for the kingdom and my glory. It was still, he felt that I have arrived. And the Lord pronounced judgment on him. I don't know what you have done that the Lord has pronounced judgment on you. Because the Lord restored that man. That man wasn't even a child of God. But he restored him. That same God will restore you today, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Even the lawful captive. Mm. Shall be set free. You will be set free in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So he was a very arrogant man, a rich and powerful man. God punished him by turning him into an animal. Let's now read from Daniel 4 36. At the same time, my reason returned to me. And for the glory of my kingdom. My honor and splendor returned to me. So God restored him. My counselors and nobles resorted to me. God gave him a new beginning, a new lease of life. God pressed the re re reset button for him. I was restored to my kingdom. And God did not end it there. An excellent majesty was added to him, me. So what he thought he was before that he was doing his hand like this and uh, and was walking about in his palace was not the plan of God for his life. Mm. Where he was that he thought, ah, I'm at the height of my career, I'm at the height of my glory, I'm at the height of my majesty. That was not the plan of God for him. I was restored to my kingdom. God restored that kingdom. God took him to that point. And then God now compounded the interest. What he has lo lost. The Bible says several times. I was wondering. I, I don't know. Maybe there are some other Bible versions. Uh, uh, actually told us what the seven times means. Is it seven years? Seven is it seven seasons? Seven years. Praise the name of the Lord. Seven. Man was an animal. The Bible says uh, the hair on him grew like the feathers of animals. That is close. I, like he became actually an became an animal, but the Lord restored him. The Lord gave him a new beginning. He not only restored him, excellent majesty was well, not only just majesty, excellent one. God is going to add excellent majesty Amen. to somebody today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joel chapter 2. It's a long reading. I don't know if you want to read it, but I want us just to oh, pray for it this morning. As we start to pray this morning, 
all I've just done is told so that you can know that could this God can do this. This God is too good. This God is, there is, there is no limit. There's no limit. The president, uh, Trump can promise you. Give me another president. Uh, uh, give me another president that you trust. Maybe you don't trust President uh, Trump. Give me another president that has been there. Barack Obama. Barack Obama can promise you, but Barack Obama can fail you. Your, your husband, your wife can fail you. Your children can fail you. But this is a God that has never failed. The Bible says he honor his words above his name. So when he says something, he backs it up so that that thing does not fail. When he promises, he backs it up so he has to fulfill it. Since he's going to give you a new beginning, mm. that will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's, let's quickly read John chapter 2 before we start to break. John chapter 2. I'm going to read from verse 18. This is the promise of God for a new beginning. Then the Lord will be zealous for his land. Mm. <laughs> so what, the first thing I want you to do this morning is to want that thing that you have seen, it is mine, it is mine, it is mine, that situation until you hand it over to, to the Lord. The, the zealousness of God will not be there. If you want God to fight your battle for you, you must hand your life over to him. This is for somebody who has never yielded to this call today. If you have never ever yielded, if you have, uh, it looks like story to you when they tell you give your life to Christ. The Bible says the Lord will be zealous for his land. It's not going to be zealous for the land of, uh, of uh, Pastor Falari. If Pastor Falari is not going to hand over his land, to him. The Lord will pity his people until you become his people and you become his own until you submit totally to him. He will not fight your battle. So if you are here this morning, even before we start to pray, let's get this out of the way. If you are watching this morning and you have never committed yourself to Christ, you have never given your life to him. All you'll be doing this morning is a waste of time. I want you to encourage, I want to encourage you rather wherever you are to just kneel down, commit your ways into the hands of the Lord, tell him that you are submitting to life totally to him. Tell him that from today your life become a ease. Tell him that you are committing everything into his care. Tell him that there's no more secret between the two of you. Tell him that from today on you are like an open book before him. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to, to have mercy upon you. Ask him to write your name permanently in the book of life. Ask him from that from today you will serve him. Ask, tell him that from today you will serve, tell, serve him. Tell him that from today you are yielding your heart to carry to him. Ask him for a new beginning. Ask him for a new beginning. All things will pass away from you. For you, all things will pass away. For you, all will become, will become new in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Most High Father in heaven, for whoever that person is who is submitting his life to you this morning. I pray, my God and my King, eternal rock of ages, that when you start to bless everyone uh, on this platform this morning, that Father in heaven, you bless that person also in the name of Jesus. And that Lord God, that person desires a new beginning. That is why he's submitting to you, King of kings and the Lord of lords, eternal rock of ages. I pray, Father, Lord God, that Lord, you please have mercy on that person. Pity that person, Lord. From today, Lord Almighty, fight that person's battle for him. Fight that person's battle for her in the name of Jesus. Let that person's name, Lord, be written permanently in the book of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, most high God. Blessed be your wonderful name, King of kings and the Lord of lords. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. So we are going to start reading that Joel chapter 2. Verse 18, verse 27. And as we read, if you find any prayer point for yourself there, uh, please pray for yourself. And if you cannot pray, at least say amen. 
Then the Lord will be zealous for his land. Amen. And pity his Amen. people. Amen. 19. Amen. The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send you grain Amen. and new wine Amen. and oil. Amen. And you will be satisfied Amen. by them. Amen. I will no longer make you a reproach ah, among the nations. But I will remove far from you the northern army. Amen. And will drive them away Amen. into a barren and desolate land. Amen. With his face towards Amen. the eastern sea mm. and his back towards the western sea. Amen. His tent will come up and his follow down will rise because he has Amen. done monstrous things. Mm. Go on. Amen. I'm going to 27. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, Amen. for the Lord has done marvelous things. Hallelujah. <laughs> Do not be afraid, you beast of the field, mm. for the open pastures oh. are springing up, mm. and the tree bears its fruit, mm. the fig tree and the vine yield their strength. Amen. Amen. Be glad then, you children of Zion, Hallelujah. and Hallelujah. rejoice in the Lord your God, Hallelujah. for he has given you the former rain faithfully, mm. and will cause the rain to come down for you, Amen. the former Amen. rain and the latter rain in the first month. Amen. The treasure floors, floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with new wine and Amen. oil. Amen. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. 26. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be put to shame. 27. Then you shall know that I am the midst of Israel I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never no. be put to shame. Ah, I pray God. for somebody this morning in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, that the shame is a thing of the past for you from today. In the mighty name of the Lord. I'm going to begin to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for five prayers this morning. Your first prayer, Father, give me a new beginning. Give me a new beginning. If you want to kneel down, you can kneel down. If you want to stand up, you can stand up. If you want to you prostrate, you can prostrate. Because if you want to stand up, you want to kneel on your feet, you can kneel on your feet. Father, give me a new beginning. Father, give me a new beginning. Father, give me a new beginning. The eternal rock of each is given of kings and the Lord of Lord. The very shelter of this. Pure powerful words. King of Lord, Lord of Lord. Give me a new Beginning. Give me a new beginning. Give me a new beginning. Remember, there's a song we used to sing in those days. You are going to pardon me if you cannot speak. If you cannot speak my Chinese language, you are going to pardon me this morning. I have to, to, to sing this song. We used to sing that song in the old days. For what are you? Baba, for what are you? Jesus, for what are you? Oh, Baba, for what have you, Jesus? My Jehwa, back on the wall. For what have you, Baba? My Jehwa, back on the wall. For what have you, Baba? Ma <laughs> Something 
We are praying. The Lord reminds me that <laughs> for some also there can be a new beginning and things will change for you for them. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. And that is going to be your next prayer. Because actually, eh, before the new beginning for Kingdom Credit, the experience he had was also a new beginning. Mm. That experience, the seven years experience, was also a new beginning for him. Mm. I am going to pray. I am going to talk to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, do not let time be evil for me in Jesus' name. Ah. Father, do not let time be evil. Do not let time be evil. Do not let time be evil in the mighty name of Jesus. Time will not be evil for me, Lord. Time will not be evil. He experienced evil time. That seven years was evil time for the King Nebuchadnezzar. The, the, the experience of Job. I don't know how long it lasted, but I've lasted for years. Those times were evil time for Job. I'm going to pray, Father, do not let me experience evil time in the name of Jesus. That I will not experience evil time. That my children will not experience evil time. That my faith will not experience evil time in the name of Jesus. That your people, Lord Almighty, your people, Lord, will not experience evil time, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not experience evil time now. You will not experience evil time in the future. Pray for your Open your mouth this morning that you will not experience evil time in the name of Jesus. Time will not turn evil for you. Time will not turn evil for you. Time will not turn evil for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, most high God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to open your mouth Amen. and you are going to pray. Amen. If you want to consider that as praying in tongues, talk to start to be to pray in tongues. Not now, not in the future. For you, I will not talk to you. Your time will not talk to you. You will not experience the whole time. You will not experience the whole time now. You will not experience the whole time in your future. In the name of Jesus. Father, that I will not experience the whole time. My children will not experience the whole time. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Perhaps you are watching this morning or you are listening this morning and you, you, your, your story is like the story of Job. And like I've told you, when you are praying for restoration, it's not just that it's going to take you oh, oh, back to your, that point. It's going to take you back to that point and then it's going to add the interest, what you should have had as interest. Let me tell you the story of a man in the Bible. The man there also, the Bible described him as very great, very, very great. Through him, the Lord gave the king of, uh, I can't remember the name of the king, uh, or through him, God gave the, the that, that king victory. He was a mighty man in battle. But the Bible says he was, he was a leper. Do you know that when he dipped in the river Jordan, the Bible says, I don't know how, well, how it started. I don't know whether the first dipping, maybe it was his hand, that God restored the second dipping, maybe it was his chest to to his uh, to his uh, stomach that God restored. But after the seventh dipping, the Bible says his skin was like that of a baby. I don't know how old that man will be, but let's consider that that man had a career in the army, so maybe he, ran, he rose through the rank. So maybe let's let's give him. Let's say he was thirty. Let's say that man was 30. Neman. The man is the man's name. Let's 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 say he was 30. I'm pretty sure he was probably more than 30, but let's just even assume he was 30. But when he dipped the seventh time, the Bible says his skin was like that of a baby. His skin was not like that of a 30 year old. You know, if his skin was like that of a 30 year old, that is restoration. Mm. That is healing. Mm. That is actually a new beginning because he was a leper before. Now he got his healing. But his skin was like that of a baby. Mm. That was compound interest. Mm. We are going to pray to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords today. Mm. Father, restore me. Yeah. Restore my hope. Oh, yeah. Restore my joy. Yeah. Restore my happiness. Restore my peace. Yeah. Restore my health. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. open your mouth. Yeah. Talk to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Whatever you need restoration for, whatever you need restoration for, ask the Lord to restore you. Ask the Lord to begin to touch. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Talk to the King of Kings and the Lord of this Lord this world, Father in heaven, the eternal rock of ages. I pray for myself, I pray for my family, I pray for my church, for example. Father, Lord God, restore us, Lord, in every area, Lord Almighty, that each and every one of us desire restoration. Allah in never King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We know, Lord Almighty, that when you restore a man, you just don't bring that man back to where he was supposed to be. Allah, there is always elevation far beyond where that man is supposed to be. Be. Father, let that be our portion. Let that be our story. Let that be our testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for everybody listening this morning. Everyone, Lord Almighty, that is listening this morning, that is praying along with us this morning. Father, in heaven, restore their joy, restore their hope in the name of Jesus. King of kings and the Lord of lords, Lion of the tribe of Judah, eternal rock of ages, ancient of days. Father, lift them up, lift up their heads, lift up their hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let there be a new beginning for them. Let there be a new beginning for them. Let there be a new beginning for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, most high God. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray. Father, make my latter days glorious than my former. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Make my life a day glorious to my former. Because you know, a lot of people, there's, there's always the story of the past. Mm, mm. Always the story of how good it was oh, in the wow. past. Yes. Always the story of how good ah, it was in the past. God is giving me a new beginning. If you are among such a people today, you are, you are that type of person that when all you are testifying about, your mm. testimony is always the testimony of the past. Mm. God will give you a new testimony from today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So you are going to pray, you are going to open your mouth, you are going to talk to the King of Kings oh, and the Lord of Lords, the one who you. can restore the Father in heaven, King, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Make oh, my Lord. life like this, make my story, make, make, make my stories more glorious than the story of the past. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Transformation. Yes. Uh, 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 if you remember, I, just, uh, I don't know if somebody was there when we were reading the back in the book of Daniel chapter 4. You can give me verse, that verse 36 again. Give me Daniel chapter 4, verse 36 again. I'm going to use that last part of it. I was restored to my kingdom and excellent majesty was added to me. Mm. You are going to pray. That is transformation. That is a man that God gave a new beginning to and God transformed the person. You are going to pray. Father, but you never King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, add excellent majesty to me in the name of Jesus. I don't just want to be excellent. I don't just want to be majestic. Excellent majesty. Double portion. Let it be my portion. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Talk to the King of Kings. If you have muted your phone, you can open your phone to the phone now. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to call to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Adai in heaven. The Ghana Rock of Ages. Excellent majesty, Lord, add to me. Excellent majesty, add to every of these your children. Excellent majesty, add to your church. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father in heaven. King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Excellent majesty. Excellent majesty. Excellent majesty. Let it be the apostle, Lord. Let it be the portion of every man watching. Every woman watching. Every woman watching this morning. As many as desire this. As many as desire transformation. Is that rock of ages? King of kings and the Lord of Lords. Excellent majesty. Add to them, Lord. Add to them, Lord. Add to them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Most High God. Blessed be your holy name, Lord of Lords. King of kings and the Lord of Lords. We honor your name this morning. We give, we give you all the glory. We give you all of We give you all adoration. Begin to land up your prayer. And I want you to pray for yourself this morning. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what your experience is. Our experiences differs. What I have experienced is not what you have experienced. 
whatever you want the Lord to do it for you. Go before his throne of grace today. Ask for him to have mercy on you. Ask for him to have compassion on you. In the name of Jesus, present your case to him this morning. That is what just what I am saying. In the next one or two minutes, present your case to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Ask him to, to step into your situation. Ask him to step into your situation. Ask him to step into your situation. In the name of Jesus, Father in heaven, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, our needs differ, Lord Almighty. In the of this, I commit everyone who is on this platform, who is watching this morning, everyone who is watching on YouTube, everyone who is watching on Facebook, everyone who is watching on Zoom, I commit everyone into your hands, my God and my King, Creator of heaven and of earth, that Father, you please, Lord, step into their situation, whatever is the desire of their heart, whatever, Lord Almighty, they are asking for you to do, Father, Lord God, please, Lord Almighty, answer their prayers, answer them quickly, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, King of kings and the Lord of lords, as many, Lord Almighty, as I ask, I pray, Lord, asking you, Lord Almighty, when they are going to carry their own baby, my God and my King, I speak to that womb this morning. Womb, you are designed for a purpose, the purpose for which you have been created. Womb, I speak to you today, that that purpose you will begin to fulfill purpose. Womb, I say you begin to fulfill purpose. Womb, I say you begin to fulfill purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say you would that you begin to fulfill purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for that person whose self is failing. I pray that the King of kings and the Lord of lords will restore you to perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus. By his stripes you are healed. By his stripes you are healed. You are healed completely from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for that person who is suffering depression. I pray that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords will clear your heart, clear your mind in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that healing is your portion today in the mighty name of Jesus. That the Lord himself will give you a new beginning in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for that person who is asking where is my own time of joy come? I pray for you that sadness concerning you sadness is a thing of the past from today in the mighty in the name of Jesus. So shall you be in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. If you know and you know and you believe that from today, your story is not going to be the same again. I want you to shout the glorious hallelujah to the King of Kings. That hallelujah is just for Pastor Polani this morning. That hallelujah is enough for me if I'm the one that you are shouting the hallelujah to. But if your hallelujah is to the King of Kings, if your hallelujah is to the Lord of Lords, if your hallelujah is to the I am that I am, if your hallelujah is to the Lion of the tribe of Judah, if your hallelujah is to the King of Zion, if your hallelujah is to the one who is, the one who was, the one who is yet to come, if your hallelujah is to the one to whom nothing is impossible, I want you to shout the glorious hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you. We Bless you, Lord. Lord. I forbid every of these your children into your heart. Father, please, Lord, make their victory total. Mm -hmm. Make their victory permanent. Mm -hmm. Make their victory Amen. universal. Amen. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, Amen. and in the name of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Enjoy us next month. Enjoy us next month. Hallelujah. God will preserve you beyond next month. If you are going to join us next month, God will preserve you will be your next month in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. This is faith, this is Faith Clinic from Faith Chapel in Wilmington, Delaware, the United States. I pray again for you that God Himself will give you a new beginning. Mm -hmm. This is a program Amen. every second Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, every second Saturday of the month. Because of the lockdown, we are doing this uh, actually broadcasting from, from the house very soon by the by the grace of God we are going to return back to the church and the Lord himself will continue to bless it and every one of us mm -hmm. praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.